Good morning, friends. So I had originally planned to hop on here and actually do a YouTube live uh, to test it out because I've never gone live. And um, apparently there's things you have to do to set up your account to go live, which I did not know. So I will be working on that. I'm not ready to do like a lot of lives, but I thought it would be fun. And since I was on a uh, morning coffee break, see, I thought, oh, I'll do a live update and um, just share how things have been going and maybe interact with some of my followers. But apparently that was not in the cards for today, so that's okay. Um, I have no makeup on because it's very humid here by the lake today and very hazy, which I can't tell if it's fires or just because it's, I don't know, really humid. Apparently we're under a heat advisory, though where I'm at, it's only supposed to be like a high of 83 but the index is supposed to be like 104 there's a cool breeze coming through right now as i sit on my porch swing um but it's a sticky breeze so i got up early this morning because i have seven hens and i um they've done phenomenal all summer but since we were under this heat advisory today, I decided to let them out of their run earlier so they could go hang out under their favorite shade tree. And I went to the grocery store and bought a couple bags of ice. And we have an old sled that's kind of broken. So I put the ice, I put a bunch of ice in there and then some water. So if they wanted to like walk through it because they cool themselves down by walking through cool things because the blood vessels in their feet um, and then I just made sure that they had lots of ice water uh, containers scattered throughout their yard so they're doing fine and it's not really all that hot so I don't really see them panting um, but we're still early so so we shall see how they go uh, we shut the windows and turn the air on last night so it's nice and cool in the house but then after today it's supposed to be nice and cool at least for the foreseeable future so we'll be able to open um, the windows and because we'll be in the high 60s low 70s which is perfect sleeping weather so other than that things are going good thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my youtube channel I did break the 100 mark, so that is amazing. <clears throat> I do have lots of things um, planned for content to uh, publish, and I, it's just a matter of fitting it into the nooks and crannies of my day um, because I do homeschool our children and we school year-round, and I also have... Um, I also run a business and a half, so um, my everyday thing is um, I work for a publishing company, and so I do quality control on the magazines, so I spend about five to seven hours a day broken up throughout the day so that I can be with my family and stuff, um, reviewing magazines and everything that goes along with that so that takes up a good chunk because in the rest of the day is family and chickens and cooking and running kids here and there but um, I wanted to share some of some of my progress um, oh and I'm also a certified uh, ketogenic coach so I spend some time throughout the week um, chatting with people and trying to help them meet their health goals because that's just where my heart is. Um, but about a year and a half ago, I'd say 
uh, probably, yeah, probably around May or yeah, May of 2022. Um, I developed this horrific pain in both my feet. And so it was really, I thought, I thought I had like stepped on something and, and hurt it and that caused inflammation, but it was weird because it was in both my feet. And I was wearing these crappy shoes to work out in the yard while we were building the chicken coop and stuff. And I thought, okay, maybe maybe it was these. But man, that pain just wasn't going away. And best I could tell was it was plantar, fa plantar fasciitis or something similar to that. Um, so I did a few things. You know, vitamin D helps with that. I made sure I kept up on my salmon oil. And I only use Neolife um, supplements because those are whole food derived. Um, and they're, they're basically just food concentrates. So I can get the most uh, power packed of the nutrients out of that without any of the side effects of eating some of those foods. And, um, and they're, they have a pharmaceutical license, so that makes them, are, they're standardized, whereas like to go grab something at GNC, it's not standardized. I don't know what's going to be in it. And, uh, and it's just food. So, um, they've helped our family uh, in various ways for going on 15 years now. So I'm forever grateful for Neolife. Um, we've been able to reduce a lot of the supplement usage that we need by changing our diet to being extremely low carb. But there are still a couple of things that, you know, I keep on hand and that we use daily. I don't like fish, so that's one of the reasons that I use the salmon oil. Um, and I can get some omegas out of my meat, which is great, but because of my chronic inflammation issues, um, I just have a really high need for them and a couple of my other family members also have a really high need for omegas but it's it's phenomenal it's amazing that I don't have to take nearly as much as I used to have to you know 10 15 years ago because we've just been eating ketogenic since um late 2018 so um so it's been it's been a road anyway back to my feet story I have been really, really paying attention, and probably the last six months or so, no, I guess the last four months, the pain has virtually been gone, unless I'm sitting in a weird position, or I sit for too long, then those first couple steps were painful, but now the last probably week, week and a half, I haven't had any pain in my feet at all, um, which is amazing and such a blessing. Um, so I don't know if like the, that muscle is loosening up. Um, I do pressure point massages on it too, just to kind of like break up any tissues that might be hardening as well. And, uh, that really helps. So, um, my husband, a couple of things. One, he's finally using, he's a type one diabetic and he's finally using, um, a different uh, insulin to cover his protein meals than the, the fast, the really fast one because that doesn't match the protein spike. So I've been kind of getting a handle on weighing the protein food for him so that he can, he can dose um, because with type 1 diabetic you're never going to be off of insulin but the goal is to reduce as much insulin as possible. So that's been helping him with his blood sugars and you know we're looking forward to in a year to 18 months because it's a it's a long time to bring in his a1 down hopefully to that of if we could even get it into pre-diabetic range um that would be amazing so um but he's doing well he has actually stopped snoring for i guess i noticed it about six weeks ago that i wasn't having to elbow him in the middle of the night because he's not snoring anymore. Um, he used to like either snore or he'd have this um, strange 
it would almost be like he would stop breathing and I swear he was like swallowing his tongue or something and uh, so I really do think that he had um, more of inflammation in his esophagus and like um, fatty tongue because he's been doing so well with staying carnivore-ish um, which that's that's what we are we kind of fluctuate between ketovore which is 10 total grams of carbohydrates from like vegetables um, if, if we choose to eat them or incidentals maybe a little bit of nuts here and there um, and carnivore ish because I'm not like this strict carnivore purist um, we still use seasonings we still use um, cheese and some some carnivore purists you know they're not gonna touch cheese but cheese is an animal product we don't do a lot of the liquid dairy just because that can be more highly inflammable and whatever <laughs> it's still early here uh, inflammatory there I don't think inflammable is really a word but we're gonna roll with it because it's early it's hot and I'm melting out here um, but anyway so that him sleeping better is helping me sleep better because I'm not getting woke up. I'm not like having to keep one ear open in case he stops breathing to where I kind of have to jab him. So that is a plus. And in 2020, I had a lot of emotional crap going on. Um, a few emotional bombs dropped on me. And uh, it took a lot of my progress that I had made in 2018 and 2019 um, it kind of undid some of that progress and I um, I had lost a lot of inches I was doing really well with my fasting and 2020 I didn't completely fall off the wagon but it was kind of like I'd have my days where I was just so emotionally overwhelmed that I just didn't give a crap I was like Oh, whatever, there's that crappy gas station pizza. Yep, I'm going to have a pizza. I don't care. I'll start over tomorrow. <clears throat> the amazing thing was I never got back to where I had started in 2018, where I was at my heaviest and my face was just like really puffy and my arms. I mean, you could just see it like I would hide from the camera. So even though I did put some of that, some of those inches back on, and some of the pounds back on um, it never got as bad as when I started and I was you know really grateful for that so um, I measured my waist about two weeks ago I think yeah about two weeks ago and I just I've noticed I've been doing this wall Pilates um, exercise program so I, I, I bought an app and I have it for 90 days um, and so I've been doing pretty good. I'll take a day off a week, sometimes two if I'm doing a lot of active stuff outside. But I can feel my, my stomach kind of tightening up, you know, that area. And after you've had nine pregnancies... Um, it, that's hard. It's it, Those muscles have been worn out a lot and to try and get them back, it's a little bit difficult. So, um, I can feel it. It just feels tighter in the apron. Women, you know what I'm talking about after you've had a baby, that bottom part of your stomach that just kind of hangs over the pubic bone area. Um, that is actually shrinking again. Um, and that's a hard area to tighten up because it's it's not like anything that you can suck in. You know, when you're when you you suck in your stomach area, you can do that. You have muscles there, but the lower apron area, um, that that takes a while, and you kind of it's got to be pulled up by the stomach being um, tightened. So that's actually getting smaller, and I have a pair of shorts that in 2019 I had fit in and then obviously as the close of 2020 had come around I no longer fit in them and I didn't fit in them um, for 2021 or 2022 because we moved 
to a little town that has a winery right there within walking distance and uh so you know i indulged i was loving my new life but now i realize you know that wasn't the best choice and uh so i still have wine occasionally but i cut it with um i cut it with uh and the sun is like really bright so i apologize if this video is gonna like all of a sudden go wonky but um i cut it with with sparkling water so I might have like an ounce of wine and four ounces of sparkling water and that's maybe like twice a month. Um, but anyway, so I measured myself this morning and um, it appears I have um, an inch and a half gone from my waist and those shorts that were too small on me, um, they're still a little snugger than what I would wear them like all day and be comfortable but I can pull them up and they get over my butt without like having to jiggle things in and I can button them without like having to suck it in or lay down on the bed and then feel like I'm gonna die so um, for me that's a huge non-scale victory I really don't pay attention to the um, scale that often um but just feeling like my clothes are finally starting to feel looser again and i know a lot more of my inflammation is still going away and i have a lot of inflammation just due to body problems that i i have and i have long term um so i'm gonna be i gotta message my um nurse practitioner and get some labs set up because I want to have my uh, CRP rechecked because in January it was really high. That's the inflammatory markers. And so I just want to see if those have been coming down because I've been a lot more strict on my just really keeping it more carnivore-ish even versus the ketivore. Um, and I've been focusing really, really, really on trying to keep my protein up and make sure that I'm not under eating because it's very easy to under eat especially for me um, and so um, I will notice that if I feel like I'm under eating then I'll do like two or three days of tracking and when I track then I'm actually like okay you know yep this is how I normally eat so I'm good um, or like the other day yesterday I think it was I had no bacon thawed shame on me so I cooked up a pound of sausage links and two eggs and I'm thinking well okay sausage links versus bacon it's a pound it's a pound it comes from a pig well bacon actually when I would have a pound of bacon a day the bacon has a lot more fat and a lot more protein in it than what the sausage links um, have so that that really kind of threw me for a loop so I did under eat um, yesterday but um if it's you know an every now and then thing it's not a big deal but uh, i feel so much better when i'm getting in uh, my protein that i need and and actually even over the protein that i have calculated for myself and um on saturday i was kind of a, an emotional mess for whatever reason i don't know um but I think it's because I under ate on Friday because Fridays are always really hard for me because we try not to eat meat on Friday due to religious reasons. And that makes it really difficult for me to get my, my protein um, in. I can get fat in and that's fine. And fat's really good for, for your um, emotional health. Um, but I still needed that protein and I know I didn't get the protein in. And I didn't sleep well Friday night or Thursday night because I was hot. And so two nights of not sleeping well, plus under eating and not getting enough protein, left me a very weepy sherry um, on Saturday and I didn't feel like doing anything. But what I did do was I made myself do my Pilates exercise um, because I knew I would feel better after that. And then I ate my feelings in bacon and eggs and steak and I felt much better. So, um, those are all wins. Those are what's been going on here. I have a lot of 
photos and recipes that I need to get up um, on my website and then do videos of them to put them up on the um, on my channel so if you've had non-scale victories recently or you're noticing progress or you enjoy this or if I can help you in any way leave a comment please be sure to like this video and to subscribe and share because that will help um, my content my video um, will help my channel anyway keep uh, helping other people so um, I can upload lots of stuff but without other people liking and sharing it it won't it won't start reaching other people so I really that's just where my passion is is I just I want to help everyone feel as good as I feel and um, so yeah you can help me do that by sharing this video and giving it a thumbs up um, and subscribing because then that helps with the YouTube uh, algorithms and now I'm gonna go inside and uh, get some more magazines done and then I'm gonna figure out how to get my YouTube channel all set so that I can actually do lives for when I'm ready stay cool if it is hot where you are and we will talk again soon